G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a question about quadratics. It goes as follows, it's a bit long. The sum of the zeros and the product of the zeros and the sum of the coefficients of the function f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c are equal. Okay, three things there. The sum of the zeros, the product of the zeros, and the sum of the coefficients of the quadratic ax squared plus bx plus c are all equal to each other. Their common value must also be which of the following? And we've got some choices. A, the coefficient of x squared, the coefficient of x, uh, the y-intercept of the graph, y equals f of x, or the x-intercept of the graph, y equals f of x, or the mean of the x-intercepts of the graph of y equals f of x. Gosh. All right, all right, so let's see. Basically, we're talking about the quadratic f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And we're being asked about its zeros. Uh, the sum of the zeros, the product of the zeros, and the sum of the three coefficients are all equal. Uh, do I even know what the zeros are? Um, well, let's see. So I'm going to guess that the quadratic formula might be helpful here. The zeros are where equals zero, in which case I know that x better be uh, minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And those that know me know that's quite remarkable. I've just had that memorized. I don't know why that was in my head. But there it is, that's the zeros. In which case, the sum of the zeros is negative b plus the square root over 2a plus negative b minus the square root over 2a. So the square roots will be cancelled out. So the sum of the zeros is negative b over 2a uh, plus the square root, oops, square root over 2a uh, plus negative b over 2a uh, plus negative the square root over 2a. Du, du, du. Uh, what is that? Negative b over a. The sum is negative b over a. Uh, the product of the zeros, all right? The product would be uh, negative b plus the square root all over 2a, negative b plus the square root all over 2a, so on the bottom I'll get 4a squared, negative b, ah, so it's the difference of two squares, so I'll get negative b squared minus the square root squared, b squared minus 4ac. Maybe that's a bit fast, but uh, there it is. Uh, b squared take away b squared is 4ac, so I get that's what, 4ac over 4a squared, fours cancel, a's cancel, c over a. Aha! All right, so there's the product, there's the sum. I went fast, but I got the, used, just used the quadratic formula and literally just summed the two terms of the quadratic formula, multiply the two terms of the quadratic formula. So I'm now told that negative b over a is the same as c over a. Oh, so c must equal negative b. I'm not quite sure what that's doing for me, but there we are. Um, now what? What was the question? The sum of the zeros and the product of the zeros, sum of the zeros, product of the zeros, and the sum of the coefficients are all equal. Oh, so this thing equals this thing equals the sum of the coefficients, which is a plus b plus c. Huh. 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 C is negative b. This is just a. Hmm. If I just answer the question? In fact, here's the lovely thing about multiple choice questions. We know they're designed to only have one correct answer. If we just happen to stumble upon, upon an answer that works, it must be the correct one by the psychology of the question. Have I just stumbled upon the correct answer? Hmm. Anyhow, I'm going to write this up properly. I'll take this, these steps slowly. I was pretty fast today. I'll write them up in an essay to go over this video. Try going through this again. See if you can just double check my work. Knowing me, I'm very human. I probably goofed on this. This just seemed to fall into place, and I'm a little bit nervous about it being so straightforward that it just happened that way. Double check my work. So um, have a go at it. Look at the essay that goes with this video, and then compare results. All right, play with it. Lots of good stuff. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.